Worship on this very sacred evening. We welcome you to Christmas Eve at Vista Lutheran. May you be blessed by the gift of Christ in your life, and may you be a blessing to everyone you encounter. Amen. hour of your presence. Help us discover the true meaning of Christmas. Enable us to see your great love for us through the birth of Jesus. Give us wisdom and faith to live out our lives daily accepting the gift of your presence anew. Amen. A simple Christmas story from Luke 2, 1 through 7. In those de days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Canarius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. There were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. 
For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you, and you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Shepherds visit the child. Luke chapter 2, verse 15. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. through 20. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told. <laughs> 
to them. right? If you're like me and it's Christmas Eve and you're in church or watching church right now, you're probably looking at the tree going, I wonder what's inside. Well, I've got some things here. Let's find out what they are. All right. So obviously, strategy for opening presents is big one first, right? Right? Yeah. yeah okay. I'm, I'm getting the affirmation. All right. Let's go see what we got here. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Oh, it's, it's, it. it's got an Amazon on it, so it's something. All right, okay. Empty. Uh-oh. Well, hmm. Okay, all right. Go with this uh, shiny little one, you know? I mean, a lot of people get very excited about the little presents under the tree, right? You know, like there could be something pretty cool. I mean, this could be some sort of high-tech gadget. It could be jewelry. I'm not particularly looking for that, but some folks, you know, it's gold, okay. Over for two. Nothing. Hmm. Well. Now this has been through a lot. Wouldn't you say it's, the box is barely even a box anymore? Looks like someone took out their anger on it. What do we got in here? They didn't even wrap it. Like that's maybe not a great sign. It's not empty. Okay, we're getting somewhere. This word says Emmanuel. Now Emmanuel is one of the names we call Jesus because Emmanuel means God with us. God with you. God with me. And that's the good news of Christmas. This year, we have lost a lot of big things. Some of us have lost people we love. That's the biggest thing of all, and that's hard. Some of us have lost things that are not that big, but still big things. I think about a vacation that me and my wife are supposed to go on to Hawaii, but got canceled. Definitely not as bad as losing someone you love, but you know, I bet you maybe have lost some big things too. And little things. Things that are shiny and make us excited, right? We lost some of those too this year. The fun little things we get to do. Maybe being on a sports team, going to a concert, sitting down and dining in peace and enjoying a meal in a restaurant. Lots of little things. You'll be missing those too. And so maybe you're Christmas feels kind of like this box, a bit beat up, <sighs> but Emmanuel, that's the best news of all, because God is with us. And this box is kind of like the Christmas story, because you see, Jesus wasn't born in the biggest house in the world, a big palace, no. Jesus was born in, a, in an outbuilding. In a town that was pretty small. 
And Jesus wasn't the, the shiniest king, you know, like he didn't have a big crown or a big cloak. No, his first visitors were shepherds who were kind of, well, they probably didn't smell that great. Folks working in the field. They didn't have fancy things to give him. Just their presence. Being there and seeing what the angels had told them. So remember this Christmas. That even if you feel a little bit like this, that's okay. Emmanuel. God is with you. God is with us. Hold on to that good news. It's the best present of all. And Merry Christmas. Lighting of the Advent wreath, the Christ candle. With this lighting of the Christ candle, we rejoice with prophets, angels, shepherds, Bethlehem, and Mary and Joseph in welcoming Christ. Our hope has arrived. Jesus Christ. This Christmas is different. You're not in the pews. You're not seeing your brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not gathered as extended family units and praising God and raising up your candles. I've been watching this service and I see children with face coverings and I see adults who in between every song put on their face coverings and people trying to come and go to the front. I'm thankful for Carol and for Mark who set up all of these beautiful flowers and gave us the season of Christmas all around us. I think about the birth of my son. And maybe that's what Christmas is really like. All of you who have had children or who have been present at someone else's birth or have waited for a baby knows that when it comes right down to it, it's often just the mother and the father and the people who are helping with the birth. And then they're given a beautiful gift. A child, someone who will change their lives, someone who will bless them, someone who they will walk with for the rest of their lives if they're lucky. We're never sure when this baby is placed in our lives what will happen. Jen, you have a new little one, eight months old, and every day is different. 
And every day is a blessing. And we were given a God who is Emmanuel, who is God present, who came into the human condition in the most vulnerable of ways, and who from the moment of his birth was loved and celebrated and surrounded by angels. There's something special about God becoming human, about God entering into our human condition, about Jesus, who felt all of our feelings, who knows all about our anxieties, who walked and celebrated with us, who fed us, who nurtured us, who taught us, and who is still present in our lives in a very real way because of that. Before that, we had a Creator God, and we had Lord Almighty, and we had Yahweh, and God spoke to us through other people. But with the gift of God, the gift of Christ, God became real. And now I can speak to God like I would speak to anyone, as brother, as friend, as beloved. God is present with the teacher who, at the end of the day, after Zooming, is frustrated and whose patience is gone, and with the parents and with the children, and we can all call upon that God. God is that person who can ride with us in our cars, or who is riding with truckers across the nation, is on those airplanes as the vaccine is being delivered, is present in real ways in our lives. It's as simple as this. God is here. And you don't get to give the baby back. No matter what. And we are blessed. And this child will grow up and will bless the world and will bless each one of us and will walk alongside us and will see us and will hear us and will feel our pain and know what it's like to love and be loved and be rejected and reach out again. We'll live in a world that is full of turmoil and we'll still bless. That's Emmanuel, that's the God that Pastor Dan was talking about, that's the gift that we have, that's Christmas. And God is present in every string, and in every voice, in every key, in every person that read, in the person behind the camera, in you. You are never alone. May you know this season of joy. May you know this season of hope. May you accept and live and celebrate life with the gift of Christmas, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Please share that peace of Christ with everyone you see right now. God's peace to all of you. We celebrate the ways in which God comes to us to be with us. And so as we prepare for Holy Communion, this time in which God meets us in ordinary things, in bread and wine, I remind you that if you're joining us uh, via any broadcast, that it's not by our invitation you come to the table. It's by Christ's invitation. God meets you in this Holy Meal. So if you need to and are able, pause the recording, get some juice or wine from the kitchen, a cracker, a piece of bread, and know that God shows up in the ordinary to be with us. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper to the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, Drink of it all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And now gathered wherever we are, together we pray how Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Amen. This is the body of Christ, broken for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you tonight and every night and every day from here to wherever you go next. Amen. If you have a candle at home, we invite you to light it and to sing Silent Night with us. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life.
of God shines in each of us. And as we prepare to leave this worship service, receive the blessing of God. Know that you are never alone and that God is with you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas.